Hey, what's going on music friends? Today I want to show you how to get great sounding drum tracks for your songs without even picking up a single drumstick. Let's get started. My name is Jeff and welcome to Ignite Music Project. If you are new to the channel and you want to learn how to record and make great sounding music from your home or bedroom studio, start right now by subscribing and click the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. So if you're like me, making music in your home studio, being able to record a live, real acoustic drum set is not very feasible. You may not have the money for all the microphones you need. You may not have all the inputs on your audio interface. You may not have a really good sounding drum kit. You may not know anybody who's a good drummer. Don't worry, there are some great tools out there that can help you craft and create drum tracks for your songs. And today I want to talk to you about one of those tools. It comes free with Logic Pro 10 and it's called the Drummer Track. The Drummer Track combines a virtual instrument with a smart MIDI sequencer to give you a great solution to quickly and easily make drum tracks. So when you first open up a drummer track in Logic Pro 10, it looks just like any other track with this orange region here representing the audio or the information that will be played as part of your song. And down here in the edit window, you have some really cool controls. So let's just listen to what uh, this sounds like right now. Cool, so nothing too crazy, pretty simple, pretty basic, but uh, it sounds pretty good, right? Well, let me show you how you can get a little bit more out of what this drummer track has to offer. So over here on the left-hand side in the library window, you can select different drummers. Now these really are different styles. Um, it will load up a different drum kit with a bunch of different MIDI grooves or drum grooves that will reflect a certain style. And then down here, you have all the grooves or ways that this drummer would play different parts of the song. So let's just click through a few of these and see what we get. You can further customize these grooves by adjusting this slider here. So by moving this slider, you can tell the drummer how quietly or how loud to play and how simply or how complicated to play. So for example, if you take this slider and drag it all the way down to the bottom, the drummer will play as quietly as he can. If you drag it to the top, the drummer will play as loudly as he can. If you take this slider and move it all the way to the left, the drummer will play as simply as he can. And likewise, if you drag it to the right, he will play as complicated as he can. So let's hear what it sounds like all the way to the bottom and to the left. And watch as I drag this slider up and to the right. Pretty cool, right? You can further customize what this drummer will play by highlighting or unhighlighting elements of the drum kit. So let's say for example, you want this beginning section to be just a tom groove. So you click on the toms. So you don't want any snare, click the snare. And you can select different parts of the drum kit. You can add some percussion, some hand claps, all kinds of stuff. You can tell the generator how often to do drum fills and all kinds of cool if you want it to be more swung as opposed to straight eights you can do some really cool stuff and this lets you quickly build a drum part so now let's take this to the next level when building your song think of each element as its own drum section right think about the intro the verse the pre-chorus the chorus the bridge the outro all those elements and think about those things differently. So for example, 
you don't want to drag this drum region all the way across for the length of your song and have this drummer play the same thing throughout the whole song. I mean, you could, it would keep time, but it would get really boring and it wouldn't sound like how a real drummer would play along to your song. So think about splitting this region into different sections so that you can adjust or change each one to reflect how you want the drummer to play for that portion of the song. You might want him to play a little more simply and quietly during verse one. And then when he gets to chorus one, play a little bit more loud and more complicated. To the bridge, you might want him to only play on the toms or whatever you might, whatever you might want it to be, right? It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. You can be creative, but think about it that way. And this will really greatly enhance how realistic or how convincing your drum track will sound. So let me show you a really cool trick that I stumbled upon that will help you build out the arrangement or build out the drum track for your song really fast. The first thing you're going to want to do is take advantage of the global track and set markers for your song. As you can see up here, I have markers that have been created for the intro, for verse one, for the pre-chorus, for the chorus. This is just really good practice anyway because it will help you quickly navigate to the different parts of your song and it'll help you keep everything organized and you can see the arrangement and build upon it really quickly and easily. But if you take those marker tracks and you convert them into to an arrangement in Logic Pro 10, watch what happens when I create a new drummer track after my arrangement track has been created. Boom. Look at this. It has already created individual regions corresponding to the markers or the arrangement that I have set up for the song. Pretty cool. And if you notice, each one of these regions has different settings. So let's take a listen to some of the different regions and see how this drum part changes over the course of your song. So pretty cool. You'll notice that the drummer moved from playing on the toms to the, the hi-hat to more of the ride cymbal to a little bit more complicated during the bridge with more crash cymbals. And it does this automatically to fit parts of your song, right? To reflect some of those things that I talked about earlier. You know, playing more quietly during the intro, playing a little bit more simply during the verse and then get a little bit more complicated during the bridge, stuff like that. And it just gets you going quickly. You don't have to think about splitting things up and changing the part. It can just do it automatically for you and give you something great to start with. So you can start recording your bass, your guitars, your vocals, all that stuff. So here is a pro tip and a little known feature of the drummer track. Let's say that what the drummer track has created is pretty good, but you want to go even further with your customization, meaning you really want to get in there and edit individual drum hits and things like that. Well, Check this out. Go ahead and create a, an empty software instrument track or an empty MIDI track. Highlight all the regions that represent your drum drummer track performance. Hold down the option key, click and drag down to your empty software instrument and check it out. We have that entire drum performance represented by MIDI data. We can actually go in from here. And alter all the MIDI information to get this drum track to be exactly what we want it to be. We can edit the notes, we can delete the notes, we can add new notes. You can treat this as though it was played on a keyboard or with like a, an electric drum kit. This just lets you take what the drummer track has done and make it fit your song perfectly. 
So I hope that this has been helpful for you. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Like and share this video with a music friend. I want to help as many people as I can. And let me know what drum plugins or drum virtual instruments or acoustic samplers you like to use, whether it's BFD, whether it's Superior Drummer. I would love to hear about it. And until next time, guys, see ya.